to the first ever Sunday Fun Day. So what we got today, 9620R John Deere. And a 2730 Ripper combination. So, let's get these things open. We'll start off with the 9620. Seems that's quite heavy. There we go. Remove a piece of plastic. Down, boom. Then it also comes with a collector's card. And the collector's card, it shows you a picture of a real tractor, so there it is. Then it also tells you things on the back, like manufacturing, Waterloo, Iowa, 335 PTO horsepower, 620 engine horsepower, 400 gallon fuel capacity, 154 inch wheelbase length. It's a big tractor. Zoom, zoom. Okay, let's skip to the Ripper. Here's the Ripper. The 2730 Ripper. The combination Ripper. Okay, we'll be back in a second. Okay, here we go. Bang. There it is. Unfold it. Then bang. That's a big ripper right there. That's got to require a lot of horsepower. And that's why we got the 9620 here. Back her up. Bang. Pull her right along and then the wheels back here. They might flip up. Never mind, I don't think they do flip up, but it kind of looks like it's ripping. And now for its card. And here it is. The 2730. There's the real picture of it. Looks like it's behind an 8RT. I believe it's behind an 8RT. No, maybe not. Maybe it's behind a 9RT or something like that. But... 18 foot working width. Forty two and a half overall length. Twenty two thousand six hundred and fifty pounds with rolling blade weight with rolling blades. Four hundred and ten to five hundred and seventy horse required hor power horsepower. So, got our two cards here, 6220, I mean 9620, 2730, then we got, it's 2730 Ripper, then we got, the 9620 John Deere tractor. So, that's a start. Okay, let's start off with the basics. Why'd I get this 9620? Hmm, I kind of liked it. It's a nice one, and the main reason is 
I wanted to replace this one here. This is a little one that came with a little kit. Like it came with a building and everything. And so it doesn't have a model on it. It's more of like a kitty one. Where it's like not for kids. Like all it says is John Deere on it. It's got his little symbol right there, and there's the 9620 symbol. Now I'll show you some of the other tractors. This is one I've had for quite some time. I bought this at a fair one year, like, so I'll get to something later. This is a case STX530. It's articulating just like all the other ones that I have here. So, this one's kind of realistic the way that the back end moves. Like, it can curve that far. That's how most of them are, but this one it doesn't. Neither does this one here. And it's a good tractor. I've I got this one before I even got this one. And I kind of like using this one better because it has the duals on it. And plus, it's made of metal, not that plastic one. This one's made of metal also. So is this. And so that's the story about that. I believe this one's 530 horsepower. Here is my planter. This is a 16 row planter. I believe it's for, well, yeah, I pretty much know it's for corn though. Because this looks like every average corn planter, just a big one. And, so this, that up here bang then what you do it's got these two little clips here unhook the clips from the bars here oh so you, all I did is I unhooked the clips and I pulled these wings back then they connected here I know planters don't usually use a whole lot of horsepower, so and this 9620 could do it no problem, but next I'll show you my old ripper for my tractor. So this is my old ripper. It's just tiny, it's just got the disc set right in front of it, and it's got the little rippers here. And this came with the kit along with this tractor that we've already seen. So basically this is how it worked. And it was, it's not that great because it comes unhooked pretty easily. And here's my disc set I bought with this. I also bought a truck and trail gooseneck that had bales on it. So the way this works is you just put the one wing down, put the other wing down, and then bam. Take the 530 here. Peace. There you go. Just pull that right along after you use your ripper or your plow. Get that all smoothed out before you plant. Now one of my favorite tractors. 
And this is the John Deere 8630. It's a real old tractor. It's got, I've actually sat in a, I think it might have been an 8930 before. It's a real, it's a real nice tractor. I like to use it for my planting. So I just take the big planter here and hook it up right there. Just plant with this. And then I'll show you my other planting tractor. So these two I got together at the farm show one year. I believe this is the 4430. It doesn't have any labels on it anymore. Then got this baler here and this is my other favorite planting tractor because 